Welcome to our fascinating world of light. Let us imagine some shining parallel rays of light are passing through a tiny hole in a cardboard. Intuitively, based on Newton's idea of light as particles, you expect these light particles to pass straight through the hole, creating a sharp image on the screen. However, careful experiments reveal something quite different. Instead of a sharp shadow, the light spreads out and forms a larger spot on a screen placed behind the hole. How does this happen? Does light bend like that? How do you explain this? According to Newton, light consists of tiny particles that travel in straight lines. If light were purely particle-based, the small hole would simply allow some particles to pass through while blocking others, resulting in a sharp image. But experiments show that light behaves differently, especially when it encounters obstacles or passes through small openings. It's spread out like this. This can be explained if we consider light as a wave. Consider this light source giving us light. Light coming from this source ripples in all directions like the waves on the surface of water. The direction of light at every point is perpendicular to each other. Look here, water ripples are forming in the surface, so it is in two dimensions, so it looks like a circle. But light waves are spreading in space, it spreads in three dimensions. So, ripples are in the form of concentric spheres. One such ripple is called wavefront. This is a wavefront. This is another wavefront. All these wavefront travels with the speed of the wave. Let us concentrate on one of the spherical wavefronts and find out how this wavefront looks like after a few seconds. Huygens wave theory gives a great idea for these predictions. According to Huygens principle, every single point on this wavefront acts as a source of secondary spherical wavefronts. That means each point will produce its own mini ripples. Huygens call them as secondary wavelets. This point is producing a secondary wavelet. This point producing another secondary wavelet. Like this, all the points producing their own secondary wavelets. When drawing ray diagrams, we typically assume that light rays travel in a forward direction, from the source to the observer. So here also we are considering the wavelets in forward direction only. These wavelets travel with the velocity of light. Now draw a common tangent to all these secondary wavelets. That is, draw a common envelope. This common envelope is the new wavefront. Look at here. The new wavefront is also in spherical shape. Like this, using Huygens' principle, we can draw new wavefront from any type of known wavefront after some instant of time. When viewed from a considerable distance from a source of any kind, the wavefront will appear as a plane. Let us try to draw new wavefront after some time for this wavefront. These are the points in the plane wavefront. These points act like the source of secondary wavelets. They travel at the speed of light. After t second, draw the common tangent. This common envelope is the new wavefront. This method works for any shape of wavefront. Source of wavelet always produce spherical wavelets, and the common tangent will be the new wavefront. In this way, Huygens' principle helps determine where the wave propagates and how it propagates. Let us take our initial question. Why does the light bends? Since all these lines are parallel, the wavefront formed by these lenses are plane wavefront. It is look like this. Till the whole, the wavefront is look like this. After this hole, how it looks like? These are Huygens sources for the secondary wavelets. These sources produce secondary wavelets. They travel at the speed of light. After some time t, the envelope of the secondary wavelets form the new wavefront. How to draw the new wavefront? Given wavefront is a finite wavefront. There is a starting point and ending point. The secondary wavelets from this finite wavefront travels like this with the speed of light. Just like before the common tangent for this region is this one. Because of this Huygens source at the end point, there is a spherical ripple over here. So the envelope is not a plane wavefront like this. It is in spherical wavefront at this end. Similarly, in the other end also the wavefront is spherical. So the envelope on the secondary wavelet is not completely a plane wavefront. It has curved edges at their ends. The new wavefront after this looks like this. It goes on like this. Remember rays of light always perpendicular to the wavefront. So the light rays bend here and spread out and form a larger spot on a screen placed behind this hole. In this way, Huygens' theory explains why the ray of light rays spread out around the edges or small hole. I hope everyone know to draw a new wavefront from a given wavefront. Now let us try to draw a reflected wavefront from an incident wavefront. 
This is a reflective surface. To draw a wave front, we need two incident rays. This is one ray. Here is the second ray. Now I am drawing the incident wave front at this point. Remember the wave front is always perpendicular to the incident rays. So this is our incident wave front. The reflected secondary wavelets coming from the mirror. So these points become Huygens sources. When the incident wave front hits the Huygens sources, it gets activated and gives the secondary wavelets. Right now this Huygens source gets activated. So it starts giving secondary wavelet and this wavelet moving forward with the speed of light. This wavelet moves forward. More and more Huygens sources get activated by the consecutive Huygens sources. Common tangent to all these spheres represents our reflected wave front. We know that reflected wave front is perpendicular to this reflected ray. So this is the first reflected ray. And this is the second reflected ray. This we draw reflected wave front from the incident wave front using Huygens principle. Also using geometrical principle, we can prove this angle of incident equal to angle of reflection. I hope you understood how reflected wave front can be drawn from the incident wave front with the help of Huygens principle.